there YouTube uh, I just wanted to do a quick video wanted to show y'all some of the things I got for Christmas actually one thing I got for Christmas but uh, if you've seen some of my old videos uh, the tripod work hasn't exactly been that great it's a little shoddy and I uh, wanted to show you what I've been working with It's this little guy right here. Okay, I had some crap on my lens. Let's see. Oh, that says made in China. There we go. That. Sakar TR2L. And uh, I got a little cheap selfie stick mount that I bought for like five bucks at a fair. But, I mean, it fits the bill for now, but I'm slowly but surely getting better stuff. But, uh, this, the legs will extend out a little, but whenever you go to manipulate it, I mean, it's, even if you loosen everything up as far as it can be loosened, it is not a very fluid tripod at all. Like, it is, it fit the bill just to get started. But it's, it's really kind of janky. But, uh, so I was able to get a new tripod for Christmas. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that old thing up. And I'll use it one last time for this video. Give me just a second. Alright, so what I got was a Targus black label 60 inch professional camcorder tripod I have badly needed a new tripod this thing is amazing for being a low cost entry level tripod it is it's leaps and bounds better than the one that I had or that I'm using right now but um I've already opened it but uh if you be patient, I'll, I'll go ahead and set my tripod down. Let's see if I can get this janky thing to work one last time. Alright. Let's open her up here. It even says Targus. Oh, let's see if we've still got anything in the box. Get out of there. Get out of there. That actually had the tripod itself in it, inside the bag. And you get this, the little instructions. But I've already had it open, so we ain't gonna go through the instructions. And here we have it. Very, 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 very nice. One of the things that I have seen, it is so fluid and so smooth, it doesn't, it ain't all jerky like the other one. And uh, I'll have some test video and whatnot. This is actually able to pop out actually pop it out and use different replacement pieces I do like that um, if you look right there and there's another one on here somewhere right down there if I can get it in the camera um, those are levels and here in a second once I get it set up I'll uh, show you what it does Alright, there's the two sitting next to each other. That one is the one that I've been using. The Sakar or whatever it's called. But uh, the little pad on the top of it, I mean you can see the remnants of the glue, but the pad actually just dry rotted and fell off like a year ago. It's It's been in dire straits, but I've been making do with what I've got. I mean it, it works, it's just 
not that great and it's really short so I'd have to bend down and yeah it's it's way down there and I'm not that tall I'm only about five foot ten five eleven and that thing comes up to my my belly button but this one is the one I'll be using from now on and I mean it's new it's all shiny well matte black and shiny I guess but actually got the little pad there I haven't really figured out what everything does yet but we'll get her figured out um, one thing I have noticed it's got a little hook down there I need a new camera really bad but um it has a new camera down there or hook not camera damn I'm stupid but um and the thing says it'll hold up to like five pounds so you can put your camera bag or whatever right there and you ain't got to worry about tripping over it whenever you're getting a shot done um it's got these little leg thingies right here that unlock let's see if i can do this one handed there we go so if you're in an awkward position you can adjust it like I'll stick it on my truck here. It's check the level. And we're still good. And then the other level's over here. You can't really see it because of the sunlight. There we go. Both of the little levels are right there. But you can actually extend that out if you're in like a not flat terrain and you can still have level shots but that was kind of cool I like that still trying to figure out how to still getting used to it it'll be a while but uh this is my new toy um I think I decided on a new camera. Uh, I'm, I'm wanting to do some videos of me on my bike. Um, it's been a long time since I've been able to go mountain mountain biking, so we've got a few trails around town, and I'll be getting a new camera. But I'm probably not going to be able to get a GoPro or anything. But uh, I'll work with what I can get. But for now, this is my newest piece of equipment. And uh, if you want, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find this. It is a TGP60T. It is a 60-inch tripod. Um, I'm still kind of new to video editing. With this little thing, the other day, I did notice that you can take this little knob here loosen it up and I know some of you are probably like well duh dumbass but I didn't know but you can actually this thing's such a piece of shit <clears throat> you can actually move it up to where it needs to be and I didn't realize that I would have uh, liked to do that earlier but um, on this one, you can undo this little screw, and it's quite literally at eye level. I like that. That's, that's awesome. I wish I would have known my other one. I could have put two and two together, but I'm kind of learning as I go. I just blocked that whole shot. I'm sorry. Damn fingers. But, all right, I'll give you some side-by-side uh, -side comparison shots of my beautiful scenery here in southern Tennessee. But first, we'll do the janky piece of shit. I'm just going to do a panning view over the highway, and I'll try to get it as smooth as possible, and then I'll jump over to the next one. Okay. All right, we are here with the Sakar piece of crap and I'm gonna try to do a, a panning motion just to show you how jerky this camera can be for this tripod not the camera all right all right now we have 
the Targus, the TG60T. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick pan to show you the difference in smoothness. And I am by far not a professional. But there's basically no jerking going on. I would recommend this camera if you're planning on getting on YouTube or just doing videos for family or whatever. It really is a phenomenal camera. Um, like I said before, it's got that quick detach. I just learned that that's actually, you got to pop the top off to mount it to your camera. And let me see if I can take her out here. There we go. See? Just popped right off. But uh, that is a great entry level. I would think I'm by far not a professional, but... Um, I'm really impressed with it. It is leaps and bounds better than the one that I had. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy doing videos a lot more. There's another shot of the... Uh, if I can get my phone to focus, man. This light's been crazy. It ain't wanting to do it. Piece of garbage. Anyway. But yeah. So I'm moving up a little bit at a time. Uh, when I get my new camera, I'll do a unboxing of it, and uh, I'll do some video capture. I don't think it's going to be a GoPro. I'll probably go with a, a cheaper action camera, but uh, it's still not bad, from what I've seen anyway. But all right, um, it's my short little review I did. Um, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe feel free to like my videos yeah. feel free to dislike my videos it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all um stay tuned i'm gonna start doing more videos this year um some of it we're gonna be working on that got a couple things i've noticed with my old pickup truck here that really need to be addressed but I'm gonna wait till springtime to do it because I really don't drive it that much um, but I think it really covers it thus far um, I'll put a link to where you can get that tripod if you're wanting to try it and uh, y'all have a wonderful new year and Merry Christmas thank you